Ah, uh, a beautiful day for Good Times Coffee Company and the world. Today is a special day. We're about to revisit a bean. A bean from unknown, uncharted lands, Honduras. Wait, am I supposed to give it up yet? Which bean it is? <laughs> well, All right, well, we're yeah, looking, at, we're looking into a Honduras bean. Yeah, <laughs> we've been here before. Uh, we've actually, it's, it's no secret. It's part of our original uh, brew, if you will. So, but today is a bit different in that we're doing it in a single origin style. Um, it's brewing right now. Maybe there's about a minute left. Did you say the roast already? What about it? Or is that a surprise? What's the roast? Tell us. It's a dark roast. Dark roast. I have about a timer going off in a minute. I got a little antsy and started <laughs> plunging yeah, that's it. Right. Whatever. That's okay. I'm very excited to try it. It had like an earthy, chocolatey smell to yeah, it. It smelled fantastic. It did. Um, sometimes what you smell when af right after you grind a bean is not exactly how it tastes. Mm -hmm. That could doesn't mean it's bad or good, really. I actually sm I smell I think the biggest sun I smell it was almost like a hazelnut type yeah nutty real nutty yeah. Yeah. so we got together down in uh, beautiful Margate City New Jersey which is almost deserted at this point yeah it's like a ghost uh, town we prefer it this way we're gonna hit the beach later um, with some friends of ours but we thought we'd share a live experience of tasting this for the first time um, or first time in three years that is and because it's something we'd like to serve up to all of you good people. Uh, before we had done it as a medium roast, this is dark roast as Pat said. Um, if the timer goes off, you might need to turn the timer yeah. off, plunge. I'm gonna get two special guests for today. <laughs> yes, we both have our water out here to help cleanse the palate. Mr. <laughs> Alpaca and Samuel Slotson. Ah, did the timer go off? No. Man, I am chomping at the bit. And again, I've only had one cup of coffee this morning. It's about two away from normal. Did you put it at how much time? Uh, four oh. minutes, 30 seconds at the point where I started pouring. Um, if you don't know the French press method, usually four minutes. I do four minute 30 just for good luck. I have a feeling we've already passed that time. I feel like we did. We did. Let's just plunge it. Kick it off, Patrick. All right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> a beautiful transformative process. Mm. Silky. I'll do that for now. Yeah. Mm. You're about to witness two connoisseurs. Mm -hmm get into the zone of what it is to taste a new cup of coffee for the first time. Maybe something you try at home to just hone in on enjoying your experience. I first learned this technique uh, in a whiskey tour. Because in whiskey, it's a lot about the aroma, what you take in through your olfactory senses and whatnot. Yeah, what did I say? Like, taste is like, what, 80% smell or through the nose, I guess? I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. I'm glad I never did cocaine in my day because I have all of my. <laughs> Sorry, but no, it's true. I got by on uh, coffee. What do you think? Oh, he's tasting it. He's going right in. Pat, Pat, Pat has no uh, gauge for hot temperature and drinking anymore. He can just drink <laughs> like liquid at 200 degrees, no problem. I need a minute. When sipping also, take in a lot of air, kind of let it bubble in lightly through the lips, hit the tongue. You can swish it around a little bit. This is good coffee. <laughs> this is, is really good coffee. It's definitely a different type of dark roast compared to what we have it so is, far. It is. But how is it not typical of a dark roast? We need more tasting. Hold on. Again, this is... This is live and unfiltered. Right? I mean, I'm cons I'm comparing it to the only other two that we have. So mm -hmm. Mexico and uh, Papua New Guinea. It's definitely nothing like Papua New Guinea, but that's such a unique flavor. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to compare it more to 
the Mexico, and it's I definitely say this is the lightest flavor out of. Yeah, the two. very palatable, easy. I think for most drinkers, where I might not recommend any of our uh, dark roasts for someone if they were not into the dark roast scene. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would. I mean, yeah, this would be one I would recommend to someone who. Um, I guess likes likes a a bold flavored coffee, but it's not very rich. But dark roast kind of turns them away. You know what I mean? It is. It's very rich. This is rich. I think you hit it right with when you said hazelnut. Um, yeah, there's definitely you have to understand nuttiness. when we we talk about our notes. It's not. There's no <laughs> hazelnut extract in this or yeah. nothing. It's just the natural note of the coffee from the region and the way it's roasted in particular uh, is bringing this out in a new way that very, we didn't get three years ago. Because if yeah. I tasted this three years ago, I I think I would have said, let's definitely right. include this. This is, I don't taste really any, it's very low acidity. Yeah. Very low. In fact, I actually, I was talking, mm. I was talking to Jen yesterday. She actually brought up, um, she was interested in trying the, the Papua New Guinea. And she said the thing that was kind of throwing her off was uh, the berry, berry note that we put. Yeah. And she said, well, I, like, does it taste like berries? I say, no, it's actually just a, it's an easy way of describing that it has uh, a little bit of bitterness or acidity to it it's got like uh, essence of fruit if you will right. like just how a fruit might have some of that acidic taste yeah, which right, you like I mean, exactly. pineapple apple uh, these are you know awesome flavors to be had there there's something that the way this hits the palate too that i hear what you're saying it's more neutral than than, than acid other. but um at the same time is full of flavor and man i love it it's definitely full-bodied yeah wait them <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, there's, a, there's definitely, a, I'm, I'm sensing some chocolatey. Yeah, yeah. When this, I so. smelled it, I the first thing I said was chocolate. It, it was, um, and not a deep, dark chocolate. Because no. that would be more akin to our Papua New Guinea. That's where I get a dark chocolate note. Um, this is, I don't want to say milk chocolate. It's no, just chocolate. no. It's just cocoa. Is yeah, it cocoa yeah. or cocoa? Either way. It's cocoa. Tomato, tomato, I guess. Tomato, tomato, cocoa. And yeah, I, 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 I can drink and we're saving some of ours uh, later for what this is going to taste like in a uh, iced yeah, coffee ice fashion. Yeah. Um, and I have a feeling it'll be really good. I personally uh, enjoy a dark roast in cold brew mm -hmm. or iced coffee, yeah. um, you know, and to each their own really on why that might be. But I think it just takes down some of that bitterness and I like the bitterness, but you know, on a summer, beautiful, sunny fall afternoon as this, it uh, might behoove us to bring that iced coffee to the beach. Yeah. I, I like this. I really do actually like this. Yeah, me too. I didn't know how I was going to... Yeah, we really didn't know. This, um, this was an experiment and just something we were excited to wow. do. The fact that we're doing it live is uh, interesting. You know, it's new. This is something usually Pat and I do and just kind of write yeah. down our notes. And, and we will at some point. You, on our bags now, we just give a few hints of notes that uh, you might pick up on. And I'd be excited to hear what others have to say about this when they try it. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for people to try this. This is this is, this is is a good rock roast. I really enjoy this. This origin, uh, the single origin, when we come to sell it, will, well, it doesn't have a name right now. I can't no. tell you anything about it. Can't tell you how long it will be. But um, because of how much I like it, I think we can... Uh, Roasted sooner oh, yeah. than later. I'd say this is this is definitely a go-to. All right, friends, that's it until you try it. Um, this has been Ted and Pat. <laughs> <laughs> More of this in the future. Uh, thanks for tuning yeah. in. Thanks for supporting us. Uh, fun things coming, uh, but you'll be with us every step of the way, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>